Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so now that we got the tension-ish squared away, 2.8 is what I'm going to be using. Um, we're going to go ahead and make an attempt at a shirt. This shirt is for Riley. Um, it's going to be an Easter shirt. I you need the 505 spray. I got this off Amazon. I'll link it down below. If you do have a Walmart near you, you can buy the spray and bond. It is a white and purple bottle. Same type of thing. So I have the 505 spray. I have um, all the threads I need right there. Those are all the threads and all the fabric. All the fabric has already had heat and bond light applied to it. So I will just peel all these pieces off just as this and you can see it's shiny. So the heat and bond light is on it. Um, so all of that has been done. You will also need some Fisca Curve scissors. Um, these are also linked down below. And the needles I used for this are gonna be the 7511 organ needles. I'll link these down below as well. And the bobbins I used are the pre-wound bobbins and I will link these down below. Um, like I said, these bobbins that I'm linking down below, you do not need to use this piece. And that is only for the bobbins that I have linked down below because that's what I have tried. There's different pre-wound bobbins out there, but these specific ones I will link down below. So we have that, what else do we need? Um, a little grid that goes with this. So here is the little grid and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how I used to hoop these shirts. So starting out, I would just hoop the stabilizer. Oh, I'll link the stabilizer down below. So I'm gonna just go ahead and hoop the stabilizer as just like this. Place it right over. Maybe you want me to zoom in. Let's zoom in. Zoom in. Okay, so it's right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and hoop it. And again, I'm going to tighten it because this is pretty loose. So. To tighten it, you turn the little screw thing. So I'm tightening it, tightening it, tightening it. Okay. Now it's been a while since I've done uh, anything on these type of machines, so bear with me. Okay, so on. And then I am going to put this on, and this is the grid. So this is what's going to help you center your design. So. Here is the grid. Okay, so how to properly hoop on this machine. I use this. And I'm going to line it up. Cool. And if you have a pencil, use a pencil. And you're going to fill in the three circles. And you have your center points marked on here and you will spray the hoop and you will put your shirt inside out inside out The tag will be, uh, I'll even put this flat on the table, but the tag will be face up. So don't make that mistake, otherwise it will be backwards. Um, but tag face up, and you're gonna fold it towards you in half. If you have iron, use an iron, but this is just to be quick. And you see how there's like the crease in the middle now. So you're gonna line that up with the three lines on here. So. This crease will be lined up with those three lines, or three dots, I mean. And you want the neckline, so this part to be uh, right at where the gray uh, bar stops. So, and then you're going to press it down like this. Press it down, press it down, and that's going to adhere it to the, um, the spray adhesive. So 
so this is how it should look and to make sure you have it the right way when you open it you should see the neckline of the shirt <sighs> neckline of the shirt right there so it's the front side um so to keep watching this video you will realize that i sewed it on the back but this is after the fact so i'm showing you how to do it the correct way so this is the correct way um to hoop so yeah So I will put this um, right before how I messed up the wrong way <laughs> to hoop. Because I, I would delete it, but I want to, you know, you guys see that it's realistic. That I do make mistakes. People mess up. It's all right. So tag should always be face up. And that is all. This for now. And it is now in folded in half. I wish this would focus correctly. And then what I will do is line it up with this piece, this piece, and the three dots in the middle. So this is the middle of the shirt. So I'll line this part in the shirt with those lines. So just line it up. Line it up, line it up. And then just press down. So you press it, and with, by pressing it, you're adhering it to the stabilizers because it has the spray and bond temporary adhesive. And then unfold it and do the same thing. So you're just getting the shirt stuck so it doesn't move. And that is it. So then you're going to put the shirt on the machine. So let's go ahead and put the shirt on the machine. Let me move this out the way. Guys, bear with me for a minute since I've done one of these. I will go ahead and hook it up. Okay. And then you would pretty much just Tuck this under the needle and then open the shirt. Open sesame. Okay, so then you turn the machine on. You can have already had the machine turned on, but that's just how I do it. The machine is now on. And you would upload the design and I need, I don't know if I already have design on the flash driver. Okay, so I think I have design on here already. And it's going to be this bunny um, for Riley. And I'm going to move it all the way to the top. Okay, click OK. And the colors, I already have all the colors set. I did that in the Ambrivious software. Um, so I guess I'm going to click edit end and it has adjusted. So pretty much I'm just going to have to hold it as it sews. Um, there's obviously no thread color in here. I haven't put thread color in there, but, um, the first piece is going to be the bunny. So I've gotten this fabric that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and add, uh, this into the machine. Now I click on the embroidery screen. Move. Zoom. Okay. So for the embroidery screen, it says red, blue, uh, beige, red. So red is what I use for my uh, placement stitch. So that's the color I use just to specify that all my placement stitches are red, all my tack down stitches are blue. I don't have red or blue in my design at all, so I know those are just placement and tack down stitches. The color you use to sew that does not matter. So I'm going to use beige all the way through. Um, for uh, the first three steps, it's all going to be beige colored. Um, I'm not going to switch the color out every time. I'm only going to switch the color out when it is the, app, the actual outline stitch. Now this design does not have satin stitching on it. This design is bean stitch. So... Let's zoom this out and start. So I'm going to go ahead and thread the machine. 
In my last video, I will link it down below. I showed you how to thread the machine and how to install the bobbin. So I put this on and where is the thread cap? So Madeira Thread is my favorite brand of thread. To me, it works the best. And I'm gonna tighten it and go ahead and thread the machine. has been threaded and we are going to go ahead and start I'm trying to figure out how to place this camera because I need to be sitting directly in front of the machine so I don't lose my fingers so this is the first color so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and I do have the heat and bond also linked below you should use that when you're doing appliques it helps with frame okay so I'm going to go ahead and Start, it's going to sew the outline for the bunny. So I'm going to push Ooh, some of this. So I'm going to put the, I can't think of the words. Push the gray bar down so the needle has gone down. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start it. It's been a while, guys, so please bear with me. It's been a minute since I made one of these. Um, also, what I'd like to do is I will spray again down here because you see it's not connected, so I'll spray a little bit more and have the shirt flesh because you don't want to do this um, while the machine's moving because it's dangerous. Okay, so I'm going to hold it like this. Part of me wants to take my ring off just to be safe. <laughs> Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and start it. Now it stops automatically because it's, it's a different color on the machine. It's now saying, okay, it's time for blue, which is going to be the tack down stitch. So it has stopped. So I'm going to go ahead and clip these threads real quick. And we are going to place the fabric, which like I said, is going to be this fabric. So I'm going to place this fabric inside of the and try not to let it get bubbled up or wrinkled. Try to keep it as flat as possible. Okay, and I'm going to uh, pull this thread a little bit. All right. I keep forgetting this is not like my machines I have now. But I want to put the thread up so I can pull it down. All right. There we go. And. Let us start again.
right here and make sure I got this part all even and flat. Okay. Alright, so it is all even and flat and the shirt is out of the way. Okay. Okay, it's hard to see um, because of the colors, um, but hopefully the next color you guys can see. stop again and now I'm going to go ahead and cut this so I'm gonna lift the foot up and I'm going to pull this out all right and then I am going to push this back and cut this out and I'm using the Fisker scissors. Sorry, this is kind of not the best video. I'll get better with um, with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. And try not to pull too hard because you don't want to move the placement um, of your shirt. If you move your shirt, you don't want to mess anything up and unalign anything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the applique out these hoops are so much lighter than the <laughs> mighty hoops that I'm used to on my other machine so they move a lot more not used to that it's been a minute it's been a while Okay, so I'm probably going to fast forward through this cutting process. Because this is going to take a minute. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Here is the bunny that it's cut out. Um, and there's little threads everywhere. Um, so yeah, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the machine and get the other pieces put in. Okay, so next it's going to do the bean stitch outline for, um, The bunny head so this is like the final stitch for the bunny head and then it's going to go into the different pieces so this is the right color that i have selected it is a like beige color so i'll put the presser foot down and we will start
do the whole thing. So that color is done. So now it is going to do one of the flower outlines. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> it's going to do the inside of the ears. Okay, which is gonna end up being pink, but like I said, the color for this doesn't matter. These are just the placement and tap down stitches. These are going to be pink, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece. Oh, scam, I thought I was about to start soon. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. Oh, I'm going to pick, pick the needle up, put the fabric. I'm going to cut these threads. I really could have just did one whole piece, but whatever. I already cut it. Alright. Alright, and put the foot back down and lock start and keep it moving. what it looks like so far Ooh. and we're gonna cut cut it cut it sorry sorry you didn't see me cutting how we're looking it's how it looks so far so far okay I'll put it back on the machine okay so next it is going to be sewing the as it shows on the screen i don't know if you guys can see that but it's going to be that uh bean stitch for the ear so that's like the outline piece so that needs to be pink so let me take this off and we're done with this thread and we have the pink thread that's going to be going on let me zoom out so now I'll put the pink on. Okay, the pink is now been put on and now it is just going to sew the 
be stitched me up and down and let's go So that is the bean stitch and next it's going to do the leaves so uh, those are green leaves but like I said to save you time you don't have to keep switching the color until you're doing the final stitch for the uh, green so save time we're just gonna keep it moving that's not just to save time that's how I actually do it so go ahead and keep moving Keep going, keep going, keep going. shirt that I'm making with the P800 obviously there's gonna be trial and error just as if you guys make it just because I do embroidery and I'm a, a great embroiderer does not mean the first time I use a machine it's gonna be easy I'm just like you guys so I'm learning as I'm going each machine is different so I'm gonna keep it moving So next it's going to do the bean stitching for the um, outline of the green. So it's going to be green thread. Okay, and we're going to let it go ahead and put the needle thingy down and let it go. It is going to sew 
also uh, the outside flowers. So, like I said again, I'm going to keep the color green because this color doesn't uh, matter as much. Or if you guys want, because we're going to be switching the color at the end anyways, we can switch it. Um, switch it to the, the blue it's going to be. Um, the blue that the flowers are going to be. So I'll say we'll do it this way. So for every, switch the color when you're switching the fabric piece, if that makes sense. So this is where the where it's going to be blue fabric. So I'm going to make sure the thread is blue for all steps. Oops, the shirt got in the way. Dang it, stupid shirt. Stupid shirt. Okay. All right, so flowers are going to be there. But Thread it out and it starts. I'm going to be doing this blue color and hmm. it seems to be easier to have two separate pieces um, so that it's easier to cut so I'm going to do that and I'm going to start it And when you're doing these bean stitch shirts, I like doing these because they're a lot faster, especially on the P770s, P800s, or one needle machines. Um, it's quick. These shirts are quicker. Just in general, they're a lot quicker. Um, it says it would take 17 minutes to do this, but that is obviously not accurate because I think it has been almost 30 minutes right now. I'm not 100% sure. But again, this is taking a little longer because this is my first time using this machine. But you don't have to cut so close when doing these shirts because that's part of the style, I guess. it's To me, it's like, kind of like a retro embroidery, what I like to call it. Um, and this is why heat and bond is very important because when you use heat and bond, after this is done, I'm going to heat it onto the shirt and... This will actually be like, it's kind of like glue, if it wouldn't make sense. It's bonded to these shirts. Everything is bonded together. So let's say a stitch comes out. This wouldn't come off because it is actually heated to the shirt. So this is the final applique piece, which uh, is going to be another flower. So I'm going to change the color to purple because the flower is going to be purple. So let me say change the thread to purple because it is a purple flower. So... Gotta hurry up because it's almost time to feed Roman. Um, and I'm hungry. Um, 
Um, so it's purple up here. You probably hear Roman in the background. <laughs> He's with dad and I'm going to keep it moving so we can get this video done. I'm going to try to upload it tonight, but it's already, I think, 8 o'clock already. And I guess you guys watch my videos at night, so it'll probably still go up. And I'm going to try not to fast forward this video too much just so it goes slow because, you know, we're all beginners here. Just so you guys can see everything. Every, everything. Okay. So, put the needle down. It turns green. Green means you can go. If it's red, it's not going to embroider so let's go oh no i did just do that i did just do that so a mistake happens <laughs> um i'm going to stop it or cut it actually okay so i cut it so this is actually supposed to be the outline stitch but you pay attention to your screen for the blue um for the flowers the bean stitch angela pay attention so putting the other thread color back and i this is where you can back up so i'm gonna hit this and back up 10 stitches or you just click back a color so it'll go to the beginning of this color so do this again. I need to learn to pay attention. But like I said, this is just this is real life. I record everything as it happens. So I make a mistake, you guys see it. I'm not gonna fake like I don't make mistakes because that's dumb. So well, I did that, and we're gonna keep it moving, and we're gonna do what anybody else would do if they're making the shirt. You back up and you restart. So put the thread down, and let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So now we switch the color to purple <laughs> because now this is the placement stitch for the purple uh, flower. go let's do this
okay so it is done that and now i'm going to switch the color to needle up switch the color to blue Okay, so now it's going to sew two circles on the inside of the, um, the bag's going to die. Two circles. Let me hurry up because the bag's going to die. Okay, and now the last step is the name, and the name's gonna be purple, and the battery's about to die, so let me change the battery. I'll probably change the thread first and then change the battery, honestly. Okay, so the new battery's in the camera, so this is the final step of the shirt, and it's gonna stitch the name, and obviously the name is Riley, that's my daughter's name, and it is gonna be a satin stitch, and purple, so. The name does not go really much outside of the bunny ears, so I know that the shirt is not going to be in the way. So this one I could actually just leave alone. Watch this monkey baby leave it alone. <laughs> Okay, the shirt is finito, finished, terminado. Okay, so I will cut these threads. It is one thing, with the multi-needles they cut jump cuts, so you don't have to cut any threads on the front of shirts, usually, very minimum. Alright, okay. So the shirt is a bit niched and I'm just gonna pull it. No, you don't pull it right off. You take it off the hoop. Off the hoop. I guess it could loosen the hoop, Angela. Okay. You take it off the hoop. No, 
Did I really do that? I really did that. I really, really did that. Did I really do that? I really, really did that. I really, really did that. No, I didn't. I didn't do that. I didn't do anything. Okay. Thought I got it sewn together. Okay. So, let me show you the shirt. I'm not zooming in. I need to zoom out. So, I can already tell that I um, made this shirt too low, but hey, it's practice. Yeah, and this is for Riley. So, next time I know to move the design up a lot higher. Oh, oh, and, and guys, this is even better. <laughs> I sewed it on the back of the shirt because I wasn't paying attention. Okay. So, so yeah. So, in the beginning, make sure you're paying attention to what side you put where. Great job, Angela. Woo! Okay, but besides that, this is what it looks like. I think it's so cute. So cute. So cute, so cute, so cute. This is how it came out. So, yes. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. So after this, I'm just gonna go ahead and trim the threads and uh, put tender touch on it. Um, and yeah, that is it for today's video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.